Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this track. I think the other talk is still ongoing, so we will you know, slowly enter into, the, uh, into this discussion. Um, I'm delighted that uh, we have today with us uh, Shiva Bon, uh, Chief Scientific uh, Officer from uh, Ceylon Graphite Company. And I, you know, this is a very interesting talk about from mine to battery. And we'll hear about a scalable production process using uh, one of the highest grades of graphite. Uh, more specifically, also looking at battery applications and uh, silicon anode applications. So as usual, this presentation will be around 20 minutes or so. Shiva, two minutes before the end of your presentation, I will give you uh, the heads up so you know you have two minutes. And also the audience, please remember to ask your questions. Just type them in on the chat on the right hand side and we'll try to ask as many as, as possible. Uh, so without any further delay, uh, Shiva, the stage is yours and uh, you can begin. Thank you, Kasha. Thank you for Tech Blake and uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and really pleasure to share some uh, of the nature wonder, which is uh, uh, even for a million years ago in Sri Lanka, uh, in the past called Ceylon. So that's why Ceylon Graphite. And it's, it's uh, in the past of uh, many, uh, it's not too long, around 100 years ago, uh, when we were in the British Empire, a lot of graphite has been exported from Sri Lanka uh, to Britain. And today I'm going to demonstrate or share with you some of the technology which we have uh, taken from some of the original mining area of Sri Lanka, uh, still left a, a lot of under under the uh, uh, ground it's called green graphite and um, which is mined currently and sharing some of the technology so the the Sloan graphite is a listed company in canada so as you know it's its own uh, share some uh, uh, information which shares this publicly uh, covered and and respected according to the regulations the one of the highest grade of graphite in the world, why I'm saying is when you're out of the ground, when you take the graphite, the carbon concentration is already 90 to 95, some region 97. It's a kind of a vein in the body. You have a vein. It's, it's, uh, it's growing many, many uh, million years ago, the vein graphite, which has been different region, you can see 121 square kilometer is exclusive exploration mines, uh, right, has got the Ceylon graphite. Is as a diverse application in the past has been used for many other, uh, the, the graphite in the steel manufacturing area, as well as various other application. Recently, as we know, renewable energy become more and more important. So some of the area is, is graphene and, and the graphite playing a key role. So I just wanted to uh, take it through with you. Why, why this material is quite important is because of the carbon contents is 90 to 97 percent, is quite attractive to get higher purity very quickly. So just to share with you some of the board management team based uh, in Canada and the UK and, and some of my colleagues are based in Sri Lanka. Uh, so just to explain the environmental friendly mining process, it means it's the carbon footprint is very important because some of the, the synthetic graphite, when you look at it, it goes through a couple of hours over 3000 degrees, the quite energy intensive. So you're creating renewable energy, but again, man-made graphite, synthetic graphite is quite uh, energy intensive. So here we have got a, uh, the processing technology we developed uh, recently, it uh, is uh, the environmental purpose. We don't use any acids during the mining. We are not uh, producing any waste because of the already graphite has got a quite higher purity. Uh, so it's a small footprint, anything on the further fortification. It's underground mining, so we don't have any eco ecological impact like uh, uh, you know, animals and the plants and, and those side point of view. As you know, one of the mine, we call it K1 mine, example, it has got already measured 